lunchtime. So, how's your morning going up till now? It's noontime, and two boys from Brooklyn want to serve you a huge portion of humor for lunch. So, break out the lunch pail, or the sandwich you packed, and let Les and Freddie S. bring you jokes and nostalgia mixed in with important information about medicine, food, dating, or just the stuff you need to help that bagel go down nice and smoothly. And if you have a story about anything you want to share, a bad date, a movie review, or just the strangest thing that happened to you at work, call in and join the fun toll-free at 1-800-889-0267. Right now, sit back and let's start the lunch break. Freddie S. and Les are ready, so here are the boys. Babies. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Because <laughs> I wonder where you are. All right, take it easy. That's a good afternoon, Are you America. Sure you're wearing a bra? I'm so <laughs> what? Unbelievable. That was that was a duo by Daisy and the Man Man. Daisy and the Man. We're, we're going on stage next week. There's one weaving in the road. We're going to hit the road. We're going to hit the road. Hit the road. Daisy and the Man Man. That's exciting. My dream come oh, true. Come on. We'll go on big stages. We'll, we'll do big venues, me and Daisy. New York next I want to go. You can come. You okay, can, good. I want to I want to I want to go too. You could be a fly man. Hey, let me ask you a question. Now that we're on the air, if I got a gig for us to go down to Largo, would you go? Yes. Yes. Oh, I said that. Yes. 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 Where are we it's going unanimous. I guess we're going. I'm going. I have, um, I have, uh, what was the name of the, of the place? Largo. Oh, I know. But <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Crap. Is it, is no it, brain cells this morning. Is it this country? The football Chef, guy. Chefs. Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. There you go. Oh, Key Largo. Jimmy Key Johnson's Largo. place. Oh, yeah. That's a nice place. I like that place, Love actually. That place. Yeah. Oh, yes. I always Fun. stop there for lunch on the way home nice. from the Keys. I think Jimmy Johnson's the coolest dude around. I, I think he was one coach that he just said, you know what? I'm going to fish, enjoy my life. Enjoy what yeah. I did. He, I, I love Jimmy Johnson. I really do. Jimmy Jensen? Johnson? Johnson? Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. I don't like Jimmy Johnson. He was the coach of the Dallas Cowboys. So what? That's my arch enemy. I was a Giants fan. He's, uh, he has, I don't know if he still has, he used to have a restaurant that he did rock called Three Rings. It was a bar outside on the on the water. I don't know that one. Yeah, great. It used to be at uh, Eden Rock. And if anyone ever saw, you ever see Magic City when it was on TV? Yes. That was all filmed at the Eden Rock. Oh, I love I love that show. Yeah. Oh. One of the best shows on the air, and how the heck they ever took a show like that off the air. All right, this is yeah. why I don't ask questions. But I'm talking about the keys, and he's plugging Jimmy Johnson's. Yeah, yeah, over. we're going to go. There's no problem. We all said yes. Daisy, you said yes? Let's go. Daisy yeah. said yes. Jersey well, said yes. Yes, we're all in. So we do our show down there? We're all in. That's, that's what I'm asking. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm negotiating. Oh, well, before you negotiate, before you get, get us all excited. I know. I was just going to say, right. we're all excited yeah, now. Well, well, what, well, what, what good is it if I go, let's, we're going to do a show, and then nobody wants to go? Well, what we all said. I, you just, I just asked you. Anyway, let's move on. Here's Fred. Oh, uh, this is Fred. We want to go anywhere. I know Fred for, yes. seven, wait, yeah. I know Fred for 17 years, Dave. <laughs> this is Fred. Hey, uh, if I get you guys, uh, you know, would you like to go to New York and we could do a show there? I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what happened? Eh, deal fell through. <laughs> but yeah. it does happen. But I know it does, but we're all excited about going. I would love to see Daisy and Jersey in a bikini. I knew that was coming. No. I knew that was coming. Come on. Not doing no. a show in a bikini, sorry. If they do, if we go to... I mean, afterwards, we go what? swimming. If we go to, yeah, right. If we go to, if we go to Lago, <laughs> they're going to wear bikinis. Me too. No, 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 no. Not you. You wear a bikini. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> I a Speedo. Oh, I wear a bikini. I'm leaving. Only if Les puts a Speedo on. With a Speedo. <laughs> You know, you know, you know, you know the good thing about a speedo, you gotta have, you gotta have some substance there. You have it. You have oh, it. Oh, I do. Okay. Let me tell you something. You know, Daisy, this, 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 this tube boy did pretty Daisy, good. Daisy, not for nothing. <laughs> but you're gonna have to stop giving in to this guy's uh, wishes. Aww. It's my baby. You hear what she I says? You lady. got it. You, g- I know, I know. I was like, oh God, she's just opening the doors. You got it. Uh, you got, uh, you uh, got uh, something. You got dandruff. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very, I don't know where this is nice going. Dandruff. How yeah, do you I'm know a person nice. doesn't wear underwear? I have my initials carved into there. I think that's so good. So, how do you know if a person has no underwear? on? They have no lines. Yeah. How do you know? Depends on how t- man, it depends on how tight their pants are. If it's a man, yeah, that's true. And they're just wearing. Well, no, if it's no, a man, no, no, no. it's a common thing. Man and woman. How do you know if they're not wearing lines. any underwear? Lines. lines. Now you look at their shoes. See if there's dandruff. 
Ew. Oh, God, that Dude, is that's disgusting. That is, you know how old that that's joke gross. is? That's gross. No, man. Older than me. That is what do you mean that's gross? First of all, that's can you sit so in a gross. proper way, please? Yes. Just thank you. Okay. Well, let's say hello to our sponsors. What about that? My sponsors. Yes. After what we just, after this, after this opening ad, we got no sponsors. <laughs> Completely sponsorless. If you want to sponsor <laughs> our show, uh, call uh, Freddie at what number? No, 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 no. <laughs> call Jersey Girl. Call Jersey Girl. If Jersey Girl, I got news for you. Jersey Girl walks into a quiet. We got a deal done. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> no ma- say, where where do I sign? So let me get this right. You, that you walk in. I, so where me, do I sign? If they collide into Jersey Girl or or Daisy, we get the. When I saw Daisy dressed up with the high heel shoes and whoa. I mean, she was, she was so freaking hot. It, hey, uh, you want to order donuts? She was so hot. Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you always dress that way? Only when I'm going to. Yeah, for appointments. Yes. She looked really, really good. She for really appointments, did. I like to do that. But yeah, you, you have to look professional, right? You look, yeah. Uh, you look professional and not slutty. No, no, I don't like to. But look. very beautiful, very nice. Uh, she really looked great. Yeah. Just she to really Aww. did. And all, and all we had to do was wait for two hours, two and a half hours yeah, for the guys to show up. I was looking at <laughs> The guy that we were supposed to have the appointment with, Bob, I hope you're listening, uh, he never showed up. Two and a half hours. Oh, no, why? Oh, what, happened? Of the what happened? What happened? We, we signed it. Yeah, okay. We got it. All we right. Gotta wait two and a half hours. These guys wanted to leave. I said, no, no, no we ain't going nowhere. And I said, the owner is coming. Do not move. She the said, owner Don't of move. this thing, the, pe- the guy who signs the checks is coming. So, so we stayed. They said, hello, how you doing? Gave him a hug. And it turned out well. See, there you go. So yeah. you should listen to Daisy. Because if you left, then what, have ha- what would have happened? No, it was Freddie that said stay. Daisy oh. and this guy were ready to I walk out the Daisy door. I thought Daisy said, Don't move. What? No, I said, Let's stay. But anyways, let's Daisy say Daisy left hello. early. Hey, no, wait, picture, <laughs> I, I was supposed to be on the air at 2.30, picture remember? Picture this, Freddie. Picture this. Jersey in a short skirt. Nice top with that face walks in says, um, I represent the two boys from Brooklyn. How much is this gonna cost me? No, not <laughs> her. I mean, come on. That's Look it. at you. I mean, you're beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful eyes. I'll pay you a compliment, which I never do. You know that. No, never. Mm-hmm. never. You don't want to ever pay a compliment to me, sir, right there, because mm-hmm. I am in love with that lady. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now, 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 can we get on oh, with the sponsors? Show? Yes, sponsors. Thank you. Yeah, let's say yes. hello to Health Who? and Wealth. Hey, yes. Do you know what happens when you don't advertise? Nothing. 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 And the number is 954-303-9563. And always call me, don't call between the hours of 2 to 4 because the owner is napping. That's right. And then we have Dr. Anthony Penoso, the pain whisperer. Yes. Guaranteed to take care of migraines on the first visit. 561-381-5800. Wait, now I've got static for you. What would you just do? I don't know. I don't, you made it very, very loud. Number two? Yes. Yeah, okay. How was that? Much and better. also we have... Quality Tax Plus Services, quality, integrity, results. Your finances are our priority. That's my boy Harry. Nine, I love Harry. 954-969-0012. And AM. AM2TV. 866 224 Let us help you make your dreams come true. Yeah, you know, I want to say something about Harry, uh, which is real important for a lot of yes, people. A lot of people that have problems with immigration, a lot of people that have problems with credit or credit. This man, just give him a call. What's that number again, Days? The number of Houdini is 954-969-0012. And here's a man that can help you if you have problems other than taxes. So, you know, give him a call. Talk to him, and, you know, guess what? Fred, didn't you say something about the, uh, the, con- the console was uh, free? Yes. Every yes. time you hear that bell, yep. when you hear that bell, you can call us or Harry Houdini yep. and get a free credit repair console. Oh my God, those things usually cost three, four hundred dollars. 800-889-0267 if you're in the Florida area. If you're outside of Florida, it's 800-889-0267. Same number. So that's what I mean. That's, it's right. An 800- that's right. So Jersey Girl, let me ask you a question. But wait a minute, before you go to Jersey Girl, I want to... say hello to Connecticut. We're, yeah. Hey, Connecticut. Hi, Connecticut. What is going on? You guys are all just yapping and yapping. Let me ask you a question. You're not smiling. Did you break up with Kyle? Oh, you know what? Just stop. No. You okay. know what? I woke up this morning and there are bluebirds out my window, so I'm okay. Oh. Mr. Bluebird. Bluebirds out her window. So, but I would like to introduce our iHeart intern, Ryan. Hey, hey Ryan, how much are paying you for this gig? He, he can't hear you. <laughs> he okay, hear. hi. I'm hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Uh, we'll say hi now because we might not see you next week. My, condol- That's nice. my, my condolences, my Ryan. Condolences. From what school? He's coming. 
Connecticut School of Broadcasting, right? Connecticut has a school? Yeah. Florida International. Oh, Florida this guy went, International. Oh, this, yeah. guy, oh, this guy went big time. So he's sitting in with me, taking notes so he can take over my job. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I got news here. You better have big boobs if you want to take over our job. <laughs> right you, can, you, can take, you can take our Listen, job. I don't want to look at you boys have boobs. That's a, Not cool, that's but a all right. creepy bitch right there. <laughs> There's a certain requirement when you work for the oh two boys from God. Brooklyn. Oh now, did you want to say anything before I want to ask, uh, before I want to talk to Jersey girl? Yes. Go ahead. How come I'm not getting any? Um, is my <laughs> my sound is not high? Anyway, I want uh, a music when Jersey Girl is in the studio. I want a music that represents Four her. Seasons. Where is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Which I, one? You mean from Kendra? Uh, awesome. No, from Kendra. I, I had played on her first episode. I had played uh, Springsteen. So yeah. Oh, okay, Jersey song or Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Yeah. That's I forget what I was going what happened? I didn't see a beautiful face yesterday. Where were you? Oh, I was under the weather. I had a sore throat and I had no voice. Right. And that's not good for radio, so, yeah. So you got a face for radio and TV. Yes. Mm. Freddie, and I, Freddie and I just... That's right. That's what we you, got a face for radio. That's why you and I are off the, off the TV screen. I mean, look at Daisy. I mean, we're surrounded by three beautiful women and some guy from the Connecticut School of Broadcasting. Not Connecticut School of Broadcasting. Could he hear anything? Oh, so if I call oh. him a name, he won't hear it because he's a big guy. Let's I'm talk into your mic for a second. I'm Connecticut School of Broadcasting. He You're FIU, Florida, right? Yeah, FIU, Florida International yes. University. Talking about colleges and stuff. Oh, people, wasn't it's people, it's people graduated? Like, yes. Yes. It's the end of the year. Oh, yeah. Great. Wait, Kendra graduated the other yes. day. Yes. Yes, she did. Wow, wonderful. From Lynn yeah. University. Yeah. And I have a lady who graduated from high school and college on the same time. Really? What? How can you do that? I don't know. Dual enrollment. You can be taking classes you can in high school. You actually do that? Yeah. And be taking wow. classes at Yeah, my night. daughter did I that. I mean, you go crazy. Yeah. Right? yeah. But by the time you are 19, 18, you're done. My, yeah. You my can daughter. do your master's. You can do other stuff. But I mean, that was really hard to do something like that. Did you graduate college? Yes. Palm Beach Atlantic University. <laughs> oh, that's a good school. <laughs> yes, yeah, right Where here. Did I graduate? A horseshoe. <laughs> you. <laughs> University of Miami. Oh, when I you? was in You? Yeah, oh. University of Miami. That's an iconic place when in South Florida. When I went to South University Florida. of Miami, for all you people that are going in now, I paid for one semester of 12, uh, 12 credits, $175 for 12 credits. Yeah, you know don't ask me how much I paid for my Almost $3,000. It's crazy. So how much did you pay a semester? A semester I paid about maybe uh, $400. It's incredible. A semester. Wow. Wow. So how much wow. was your, how much was I I that NYU? was like four thousand a semester a NYU a year was sixty two thousand dollars when I went I went to a private school sixty two thousand so. wow sixty two well I went to a private school so don't ask me yeah how much? Palm Beach Atlantic University how is much? I don't even want to I can't you know remember how much I, I want to know I want to know I want to know I don't want to know you took out loans I, don't, I took some grants and I have a loan too yes. so how much was it a lot of money oh yeah private school sure. it's a private yeah. school. How, how, how much? Hey. Obviously, there's a number. I owe, I owe fifty grand. That's nothing. Wow. To me, it's a lot. Fifty grand. There's lots of people. It's a lot. You live in you, you live in an exclusive country club. Fifty grand to you is yes. nothing. And, well, that's my master's too. That's my master's. Okay, yeah. Okay. That's okay. Not, that's I was gonna you, say. That's nothing. You still owe that? That's crazy. Not, what happened was my daughter. That's a lot of money. My, my bachelor's or my master's. Uh, Gainesville was a 4.0. And she went to work for Prudential in sales. And Prudential had a program that if you get an I A, know. You, they, if, and you want to go for your master's, then they you charge pay, it. They she pay. got an A. Oh, that's that was great. like almost 60000 Oh, wow. Dollars. I know somebody that has $200,000. I know, oh, I, God, know yes. I know doctors. And yeah, if you want to go for a PhD and stuff like that. But I said, no, that's yeah. not for me. How copy she's worked with now offers her a PhD program. Mm -hmm. You should have been a PhD. We would call you Dr. 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 Well, Dr. Well, Ds. I will be Dr. going. Ds. I will be a little bit crazy. The, the you would be a little crazy? Hey, uh, More crazy is that music than that what I am break? Now. Yes. Sorry to break up your yes. chatter. Yes. You sounded like uh, you know, we have done completely yes, actual, We haven't done anything to that. No, you haven't. I yeah. That's because long. Les is running the show, and I'm going to warn you guys. <laughs> yeah. On Thursday and Friday when I'm not here, uh -huh. be That's prepared it. for more of this stuff. Oh, gosh, yeah. We'd have some fun. He's going to run the show on, on Thursday and the, Friday. On I'm the scared. next segment, we have the crazy summer camps. That we are going to send our children it's to. Crazy, crazy what? Summer. Crazy summer, summer camps. camps. I oh, summer camps. I got stomach cramps. <laughs> oh, God. Crazy uh, stomach cramps. What's wrong with you? <laughs> because you know what? it's almost the end of the year. Oh, my Yay. God. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. crazy. Okay. All right. Let's take That's a break. Fun. We'll be right back. I will. We will be right back. <laughs>
For several years, Quality Tax Plus Services Incorporated has developed tax strategies for Coral Springs business owners as well as individuals and families. From bookkeeping to payroll, straightforward tax preparation, or complex audit representation, Quality Tax Plus Services Incorporated is recognized for customer-oriented service and financial acumen that results in smart tax solutions. Call Quality Tax Plus Services at 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Part of the service Quality Tax Plus offers is life insurance, the most important insurance to have. But there are many people in Florida that do not have it. It's true. Thinking about the end of one's life can be uncomfortable. But when it comes down to it, life insurance is not about you, but those you leave behind. Make the right choice and find a life insurance plan that's right for you. Cover your tax and insurance needs at Quality Tax Plus Services. Call 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Visit the website at qualitytaxplusservices.com or call 954-969-0123 and let their services help make your life worry-free. 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Hi, it's Leah here to tell you about Dr. Anthony Pinozo. He's a pain specialist located in Southern Palm Beach County. So if you are somebody that you know is suffering in pain, Dr. Pinozo is the one you guys need to call. And make that call today because living in pain is no way to go through life. Dr. Pinoza has been in practice now for more than 49 years. He's treated more than 73,000 patients for pain. He's an expert when it comes to diagnosing the pain, and he has had huge turnarounds. In fact, people with living with scoliosis, he has had nearly a 100% turnaround. Lumbar pain as well. If you've got lower back pain, if you're suffering with migraines or flat feet pain, maybe pain in your elbows, your neck, your shoulders, Dr. Pinozo can help you, and the greatest thing is he can help you without drugs, without surgery, and without having to go through weeks and months of rehabilitation. Give him a call today. Set up an appointment. It's 561-381-5800. Tune into his show Sundays, 11 to noon. We are back. Yes, we are. We are back. Are we? We're hearing the music. What music is that? Kendra's. Kendra. Okay. Is she taller than you? Dead air? No. We're hearing the music. Dead dead air. Well, you got to stop the music, what do you think? We're not that brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, Freddie, I I know we lost control of the show, so do you want to say anything important? Okay, so going back to what I was saying. So tell me, (laughs) how did did you do all day yesterday? Just wait in bed? Didn't do anything? Yeah. And what are you going to do today? What do you mean? I have a lot to do today. i got to make up what I didn't do yesterday. Like what? Mm. I've got to do stuff for work. Okay. I've got meetings to go on. Okay. Where are you going with this? No, yeah. I'm just talking to her. She's a friend. I like her. You know, Jersey girl, if you want to tell us what you're going to be doing and everything, just pump it right into the show <laughs> because uh, this is just ridiculous. We do maybe in the news or something. Like I have a conference call for my medical funding oh, business. Yeah, fantastic. That's at 4 o'clock for a, a deal in Michigan. That's Wait, interesting. Are we that I'm anybody on this? You? No. That's for me. That's okay. for her. Okay, That's for me. So let me hear about what's going on with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's going on? No more interest there. Do you know what's going on? No, that's why I asked A lady you. realized. <laughs> yeah, you just woke up and came here. I know that. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know a lady was going to have a baby? And she I said, have my baby. why I don't put it in Facebook while I'm having my baby? <laughs> Look at her face. Look at Connecticut. Like, she what? Put, she she put, imagine having your legs spread apart and alien coming Yes, out. it was no. a little bit. Hey, wait too a minute. Much. Wait a minute. I saw this on the Dorito commercial. Oh, no, no, no. no. Commercial. What? what? The Dorito commercial. That was the, the best fa- commercial. The father, what is this? The father goes yes. like this with the, with the Dorito and yes. the baby it in the womb. She's right out. It's like this. And then the wife says, Give me that. She a little it. bit. A little I missed like that her. one. That was yes. a great commercial. Well, why did she put it on Facebook? Why? Why didn't she just put it on YouTube? Like, like I've seen well, it. Well, you know, everybody. Do. Yeah, you know right. What, uh, there's a lot of um, a lot of people doing stuff in the, the application that is Facebook Live. That you can go right there. It's live, and you can, you know, just broadcast right there. That's We've what, done it all the time. We do it all the time does. here. Yeah, when Victoria's right. in the room, she's oh. like. We do it all the time. You're in Facebook all the time, live. But to all have, the time. you don't even realize it. Less. At the post office. But, <laughs> but this lady was actually having her baby. Her legs were spread out. Oh, God. And the husband or the you partner. You got a picture of her? It's all over Facebook. It's all over. Um, it ha- in like one hour, it had like, I don't know, like 3,000 views. Oh in one God. hour. Yes. Only one okay, hour. Okay, so we're taking volunteers. Anybody get pregnant and 
we'll put of, you on the, of the women on the show and don't um, look at me. I mean, we record our babies well, done, when they, you know, there's people. She's done. She's not even close to what this was. <laughs> no, but we, we, uh, there's a lot of people who record their, you know, having the baby, but it's very private. What, yeah. but what do you guys think? Well, when she put that? it on, like when a, she put it on Facebook, did she put it on so that anybody could see it, or yes, just public. her friends and family? No, she put it everything public. public. That's how oh, she when you, oh, when you do Facebook, everyone. I don't like it. Yes. Well, you can make it private and only you your friends can see it. You can make it private to your friends. Because I think there are kids on Facebook that shouldn't be seeing yeah. stuff like that. I, I agree. Well, she didn't put her private part. She just put it from the side, but you can see her face pushing and her legs spreading like this. There's nothing wrong with and that. And it, that was, it, it's very aggressive. I wouldn't it's very wa- violent. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't watch. I mean, it's beautiful to have babies and everything, but in that moment, it's so private. and it's, it, it could be violent for a child to see something like that. I've, yeah. had, women, I've had women in that situation before. I know, violent. Of course. Violent, you mean. Other legs. Other legs. Violent. You know, I, I, when, I, when I saw my, yes. my, my ex-wife gave birth to two kids. There's people who which faint. Which one? No, one or two? Two. two. No, and which, which wife? Number two, number two. My ex-wife. What about number one? Never had no children with her. But my ex-wife, when she gave the birth to the two boys, I was there and I watched it. And I'm going to tell you something. That was, uh, that was an experience. It's very There's I, stuff coming out of people all over the place. You know, they put the heart monitor inside so you can get the baby's um, heartbeat. Oh. That thing snapped out and, and, and smacked the doctor right in the face. And she was done. She said, that's it, I'm out of here. And she left. With and the I baby? Said, oh, no, she left. <laughs> so they brought another another doctor in. And then they forgot to put the oxygen on Michelle. And no oxygen, so she couldn't breathe. So she's trying to tell me, I can't breathe, you know? And oh. I'm like, don't worry, honey, this is almost over. And <laughs> it's I'm almost over. To, I will be like, boom. She punched you. me. She punched <laughs> me. Oh. Perfect. She, she punched me in the jaw. <laughs> I she said, done. I this can't a- breathe. So I said, can somebody put the oxygen on? Oh, it was wild. Well, there's some things that you shouldn't put in Facebook. No, Less. I agree. Oh, I agree with you. Oh, absolutely. There's some I people agree. That, I agree. that. Oh, yeah. Should not be on Facebook. I've seen in Facebook stuff like spanking your child in that's, Facebook. That's, you can go to jail for that. Yeah. No, but I mean, why would you do that? Now, because I would like to see the guy that she was married to, you know, helping to make the baby. I watch that on Facebook. That's porno. If you don't you know, know what. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, you don't do that that's, on Facebook. You know, they close down the, your well, account. <laughs> La- last night I woke up at two o'clock in the morning because of the thunder. You heard the thunder last night? Yes, Daisy, did you I did. Just yes. there was a lot of thunder, Daisy. You didn't say that in the weather I, report. I she said didn't do the weather report yet. I did the yesterday. Re- I yes. did their weather report at round three, but in, not in this but station. Wait a minute. No. Wait, it didn't rain last night until, wait, it rained this morning at 1 a.m. No, no, no it didn't. Last night it rained thunder. in West Oh, it did? Oh, see, so, I'm in Boca so, Raton. So. So, so it's funny because oh, it's funny because I, I go on Facebook and I see a guy and a girl dancing. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. I was crying. I was laughing so hard. Yes. And it's funny because he takes her, he throws her around, she rips his shirt off, and they start doing this this dance, you know? Very erotic or no, very sexy? Stupid. Crazy. It's stupid. Okay. And he grabs her like, let's go grab a woman, you know, with legs up. Oh, <laughs> and he, and she, he jumps off a table to do a split. Oh, my oh, God. No. I was, it is the funniest thing. I put it on Antu TV. There's uh, nothing, let me tell you, funny. there's nothing better than, uh, I have 70 ways to make love to a woman. Oh, my goodness. I can name all 70 right now. Okay, moving on. Moving what else on. do we got? No. Yes. Well, the other thing is that... All I got to do is find a woman to do one of them with. Okay, go ahead. No, I was going was, was to ask you guys, there's anything that you have placed in Facebook that you said, I I wish I didn't oh, do I don't that? Oh, do, I don't do Facebook, so... You don't do no. Facebook. What about you? Um, yes. That you said, oh, let me take it out. <laughs> I did that on Facebook once. <laughs> I took it out. I, I hope she knows. Yeah, but I'm careful about what I put on Facebook as yeah. far as, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm never... Barely any bikini pictures. I'm always, like, dressed and... Smart, that's smart. Yeah, because my family's on my family's on there. No, no, you're right. I agree. You know, right. and also, probably kill you. oh God, yes. And then, as far as business is concerned, too, you know, I, I have exactly. I have doctors and attorneys on my Facebook, you know, that I talk to. What about these people that put this crazy stuff like this lady that, that had a baby way, that no, can ruin like her career? Said, that yeah. could ruin your chances of ever getting a good job by doing Absolutely. that. Absolutely, that's right. That's very yeah. smart. You just yeah. I agree, 100%, 100%. What about you, Connecticut? Anything that you put in Facebook oh that my you're God, like? Everything. I don't do Facebook. Me you either. Oh. Yeah, I know this. You don't do Facebook. How come either. you don't do it? I do for a, a reason. Too much drama. I'm on Instagram and Twitter, but too much drama. Too yeah, much bad news. I don't like it. I have found. I have been told about bad news, uh, unbeknownst to me, from news that people read on Facebook. About you? Uh, oh, wow. it, well, not about me, but it involved someone that was in my life that got married out of... Ah. 
all of a sudden. Me, yes. yeah. Yeah. You know, in the old day, in the old days, I got that news from my buddies on the street. Say, yeah, hey, man. you know, your old, your old lady is cheating on you with the. That's the way I got my news. Really? Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think on Facebook you can't get away with anything anymore. No way. They say a lot of these kids that are doing these things on Facebook of showing them doing outrageous things when they go for a job. You know what they do now for jobs? They look at Facebook now to see. Yeah, we, we talked about this. Definitely, yeah. they do it here for sure. For sure. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because anything in Instagram that you place that you have? No, no, no. You don't care. No. And Jer- I don't. I don't take selfies. I'm not a selfie person. So Jer- you know, talking about selfie. selfie, Jersey girl put on a selfie over the weekend, and I and I and I commented on it. Says, "Where's the smile? She wants to smiling. She was so serious. No, she was giving that That's look. That's such right. a pretty smile. Why would you smile? So she puts the matador look. Oh, it is el matador. El matador. El matador. Matadora. Do you speak, uh, Matadora. Do you speak Italian? No. Oh, I, to me. Daisy's accent and an Italian accent turn me on like crazy. Italian, I went Daisy Italian. doesn't have an accent. Oh, she really I don't have an accent. Less, <laughs> Not at all. Less the, what you're talking less about. the wind turns you on, oh, baby. Yeah. I can out of the car. I sit down so there's a breeze right right. <laughs> the right, mechanic right, right, turns right, you out. Turn, turn, you go turn, to the mechanic, turn, he turns you on. <laughs> turn off the air, turn off the air conditioning. Otherwise I got to see a, vac- a, a vacuum cleaner is the best thing when you really. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. No, it's the washing machine. Wait, oh, this, oh, during the spin wait, cycle, isn't like it? Sit on the washing machine. <laughs> okay, in other news, <laughs> in other news, Sam, Simon Cowell is back. Yeah. Did you okay, see wait, this? Wait, wait, oh, no, wait, I didn't wait, hear about wait, this. Wait, tell me, Cowell. tell me. He's on the, he's on the, uh... American Got Talent? Yeah, what happened? Did you hear that? Stern? Is, is he there? He's no, still there. No, no, he's oh, he was great. I, I loved him on, on that show. Oh, Simon I don't know if you saw the preview. The preview, we didn't know who it was coming this season, and then you see somebody, like, when you go to the um, psychiatrist, like, they put this thing on the mouth. You mean, like, in Silhouette? Was he in Silhouette? No, he was, like, in this movie. Oh, you mean, like, Silence of the Lambs? This yes! Could, yeah. This With the scary teeth yes. thing, and you, so he can't that bite that people. Say, <laughs> Me either, I, I, I don't I, understand. It's I, like a muzzle that you put on a dog. Yes, exactly, and you couldn't see her his face. Okay. So they were like, "Are you gonna behave?" And he's like, "You better be nice." Wait, this and then was they the took ad it. for him coming yes. on the show. So they took it out, and That's, he said, "Is this necessary?" That is crazy. That is crazy, and it That's was kind funny, of hilarious. Actually. It was hilarious, and he said, "Is that necessary?" With his accent, that he, you know, is this really necessary? Well, he, he, I mean, his other show <laughs> that he big... did didn't work, so we got to come on here. I missed that. Oh, you think that's what it was? Yes. I think Howard Stern asked for a lot more money. Do you know they moved it to New York? It was originally in L.A., but Howard Stern said you want But do want you me. think Howard Stern brought anything to that show? His name. No, besides <laughs> that. I mean, he wasn't all. No, he was funny. Was he? Yes. He wanted to be Simon Cowell. He was a little bit like Simon Cowell. He could have been. Yeah, I thought he was really funny, actually. I, I just, I, I could listen to Howard Stern all day long. I think he cracks me up. He, I think he says. You think I'm a maniac. That's I'm why nothing. I love him. I adore him for that. Yeah, but Howard Stern is on serious. Cyrus, serious, serious, yeah. There's a big there. difference between what he does there and what we do here, my friend. He gets paid five million dollars a year. Yeah, like oh, no, I said, I'm sorry, five hundred million dollars a year. Like I said, he's there and we're here. You know, we not only don't make any money, we can't eat a freaking slice of pizza. I'm sorry. And he brings it up again. Oh, I can't have it. And he brings and it up. And he brings it up again. Did you? Did you? You're like a bad up? record yes. that repeats itself. How come? What? Did he have a slice? Did you offer him a yeah, slice? He's already yes. He's an intern. He's fine. Oh, well, yeah. Instead of money, they give you a slice of pizza. Well, okay. ways that Become an intern. Really, that's a big thing now because the pre, in the preview, in the promo. Don't you can talk see. about big things in front of me. I told you that five times. Do you know the, the what is the name of the model? The fashion show Haiti. Is a Haiti. Haitian. No, Wait. Haiti is Heidi. Heidi, 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 Heidi Klum. Klum. Haiti. Haiti. That's hilarious. Heidi. <laughs> well, that's how you say Heidi in Spanish. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, she's from Haiti? What? No, no. Heidi. Heidi, Heidi Klum. And what's the Haiti name of the other guy that he's very funny? Howie Mandel. Yes. 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 He is hilarious. He's also in the promo, like, what's going on? You know, like, because he kind of, uh, this guy is coming he, to the he show. He has OCD worse than I do. Oh, he's yeah. a he's a he's no he's, he's a, a germaphobe. germaphobe. No, he's a germaphobe. Total germaphobe. But did you see what they did during one of those shows? Yes, yeah, where the guy hypnotized them, oh, and they made him shake hands with everybody and do all this crazy stuff. I couldn't and then they it. showed him doing it, and he I couldn't him, believe and they, it. He almost had a heart attack. He yes, was so mad after that show. he was really mad. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's the big deal now. In uh, I think it's coming up. No me conviene. May thirty first or something like that. Would you stop saying that? I don't care. Who is um? Who, what about this camp thing? 
Okay, you talk. Oh, well, we are in the countdown for summer camp. Yes, we are. Get your money out, family. And we have a lot of summer camps all around Palm Beach County, and we have one in Palm Beach Gardens that I'm thinking about is how to cook children. They learn how to be How to cook, cook, how to children. cook children? No, how to cook children. Oh, I more children. Like <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is Hansel and Gretel? <laughs> no. How to cook four oh, children. Like two white kids over easy bacon. No. Children learn how so to cook. So the children, <laughs> they, the, yeah, the children learn how to Italian, cook. Italian, French. I tell you, you I get more complicated by the day. So now, wait a second. French. That's got to be expensive because I hear a lot of people can't afford to send their kids to these summer camps because they're getting so it's it, expensive. It's around, I don't think it's that bad because they're learning a lot. It's around 225 per week. To 275. That's not bad at all. I got a question for you guys. And it's for the whole day, and they learn, and they cook, and they eat, and they have fun at the same okay. time. Per week. Oh, per week. That's not bad. I said when I sent my daughter to summer camp, it was like thirty-five hundred dollars uh, for six weeks. Okay, so it's pretty much. Did you yeah. Yeah. did you guys ever go to? No. Did your parents ever send you to camp? My father never sent. My father. My father gave me a stick and told me this could be, you could use it as a gun. <laughs> Go play with this ball. I Go play with this ball and stick. I have, stick. You I, have, I have one of those. Yes. But did, you, ever, you ever go to camp? No. Oh, yes, Never of course. Or your parents sent oh, you no, to no, camp? Oh, no, no. No, they sent me away. <laughs> they sent me away they to, another away country. to another country. Another country. That's what my parents said. <laughs> no, I didn't go to camp. <laughs> they sent me to... You did sing sing, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> they sent me to Dominican Republic number two, New York City. Yeah, I went to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Manhattan, to, right in the middle of Washington Heights. <laughs> I, went, I, went, I went to Puerto Rico. That was uh, number three. Did you did go you away to, to camp? camp? No. No? no didn't. I didn't. But you know what? My mother said made me sign up for Girl Scouts, so I was in Girl Scouts. Oh, you were? Cool. Yeah, I mean, they have that throughout the whole summer. I'd love to buy your cookies. I can't imagine this one's a Girl Scout. Oh, yeah. Buy those freaking cookies, I'll kill you. I hated it. My mother, and then my mother was one of the mo- the den mothers too. So. My daughter was a Girl Scout. Hey, cool. tring, 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 Connecticut, whatever. you ever go to camp? No, unfortunately, that I turned out the way I did because I was very un- antisocial. And oh. that's yeah. why you need a camp. Yeah, well, the parents didn't know. Why were you antisocial? With us, you're very social. You're very, you're very nice. To I don't know. To. When I was a child, I was very, very uh, shy, shy? nervous and Why? painfully shy. I have no idea. And so you've come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whenever you want, tring, whenever. Tring. You feel like it. Tring, um, tring. Yeah, don't, don't forget the tring. Now, tring. I sent, Michelle sent my two boys to camp. Mm-hmm. And they used to come home, and they looked miserable. Oh, they went to day camp, not, not like suitable. Day way. camp, yeah, oh, day, day camp. camp. Yeah, day camp. So yes. they came to me and said, uh, Dad, can you get us out of jail? And I said, oh, that's it, no more day yeah, camp. Day camp. I put them in jail. football. No, I put, I put them once in the Science Museum, which is one of my favorites. I put them in a second. Science Museum is right oh, here, okay, West Palm Beach. you said you put them in the Science Museum. I, I said, <laughs> well, they had, you know, cadaver or something. They're still there. Yeah. I put them in the Science Museum. I put them also in the... Um, art museum that is in West Palm Beach downtown they learn a lot and they get you know busy and uh, also oh the nice. rec centers you the rec centers are send your kid to learn you want them to have some fun That's no true. no they learn and they have so much fun you don't uh, know no it's crazy. Fun learning, so I, I don't I don't I, I wouldn't if I had kids now I wouldn't tell it was a camp no I, nah. no I can't my daughter loved it nah. I, 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 I like love that. it. I want to go. When they, they tell me all the stuff that they do oh. I want to go. I want to be part of the camp and be a counselor. Yeah, you need counseling. They ought to have camps <laughs> for older people. You need an article. The yeah. Lighthouse has a really nice right. camp. Uh, lighthouse, that's what you need. We they need, do have we lighthouse, need, really. Yeah, there's a lighthouse for the blind. They we, can't see what they're doing. We need to get you some help right away no, no, with a lighthouse. 800-889-0267. 800-889-0267. If you have a story at camp. If you have a camp story. Actually, if I want to hear it. If anyone's listening, just call to let you know that you hear the signal. 800-889-0267. If she hits that button one more time, I'm going to jump through the glass. But anyway, let's take let's take a commercial Congratulations break. to all the kids that oh. they are leaving school finally. No, that means they'll be all over the place. Okay. All the traffic will be traffic will be right, no, we will be yes, right, right back. No we shall be right back. Please 
welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Amp2 TV, the first and only internet network that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full-service internet television production company, discover Amp2 TV, a full-service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development, and they use all the latest platforms to help make your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes and live streaming, as well as tape productions. Let Amp2 TV handle all of your television production needs. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies, including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A-M-P, the number 2, dot TV. Or call them at 1-866-224-5422. That's 866-224-5422. Have you ever had a business idea that you thought would be a great solution to tough challenges in today's world, but have no idea how to get started? You don't want to waste investment money on ideas that just don't work. Introducing Health and Wealth Seminars, a sophisticated advertising agency with over 40 years in the ad business. What makes Health and Wealth different from other agencies is they fit your product into the public's need. They help put together the strategy of your business before you commit thousands of dollars and just find out those ideas just don't work. Health and Wealth Seminars carry advertising contracts, radio and television contracts, and even a production service contract that will cover all of your business needs. Call today, 954-303-9563, and let Health and Wealth Seminars carry your business to the next level. The number is 954-303-9563. And remember that what happens when you don't advertise is nothing. 954-303-9563 is the number you need to get your business started in the right direction. For several years, Quality Tax Plus Services Incorporated has developed tax strategies for Coral Springs business owners as well as individuals and families. From bookkeeping to payroll, straightforward tax preparation, or complex audit representation, Quality Tax Plus Services Incorporated is recognized for customer-oriented service and financial acumen that results in smart tax solutions. Call Quality Tax Plus Services at 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Part of the service Quality Tax Plus offers is life insurance, the most important insurance to have. But there are many people in Florida that do not have it. It's true. Thinking about the end of one's life can be uncomfortable. But when it comes down to it, life insurance is not about you, but those you leave behind. Make the right choice and find a life insurance plan that's right for you. Cover your tax and insurance needs at Quality Tax Plus Services. Call 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Visit the website at qualitytaxplusservices.com or call 954-969-0123 and let their services help make your life worry-free. 954-969-0012 and ask for Harry. Hi, it's Leah here to tell you about Dr. Anthony Pinozo. He's a pain specialist located in Southern Palm Beach County. So if you are somebody that you know is suffering in pain, Dr. Pinozo is the one you guys need to call and make that call today because living in pain is no way to go through life. Dr. Pinozo has been in practice now for more than 49 years. He's treated more than 73,000 patients for pain. He's an expert when it comes to diagnosing the pain and he has had huge turnarounds. In fact, people with living with scoliosis, he has had nearly a 100% turnaround. Lumbar pain as well. If you've got lower back pain, if you're suffering with migraines or flat feet pain, maybe pain in your elbows, your neck, your shoulders, Dr. Pinozo can help you. And the greatest thing is he can help you without drugs, without surgery, and without having to go through weeks and months of rehabilitation. Give him a call today. Set up an appointment. It's 561-381-5800. Tune into his show Sundays, 11 to noon. You're lunching with two boys from Brooklyn who invite you to advertise on the show. Share your good news. Just call 866-224-5422 and get all the information. There are plenty of options, and this could be a great chance to get the word out about your business or service. That's 866-224-5422. Now let's get back to those two boys from Brooklyn. Okay, and we are back. Now let's take a look at the weather and traffic update. Is sponsored by Dr. Anthony Penoso, guaranteed to take care of migraines on the first visit. 561-381-5800.
Current conditions, 86, is mostly cloudy, high 86, low 75, humidity 55, thunderstorms tonight, so be careful out there. New York is 64, it's cloudy, the high is 64, the low 54, humidity 41. Now let's take a look at the traffic. We have a situation in Palm Beach Lakes, I-95 going north, that's in Palm Beach County. Broward, we have two accidents. 595. I-95 going south in Oakland Park. I-95 going north and Broward Boulevard. I've gone north, so I'm going south. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, have to, I have to meet someone today, so I'm okay. This weather and traffic update is sponsored by Dr. Anthony Penoso, 561-381-5800. And before you start, today is a really bad weather day. It's starting yes. to get very, very dark out there. So. I know. Yeah, yeah, I oh, I just noticed it is. Yes, it's very cloudy and thunderstorms tonight. You know what would be a great idea? We were talking about this camping thing. Could you imagine camp for adults? They have camp for adults, but I mean, the thing yeah, it's called hedonism. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine going to camp? It's okay. Called, wait a minute, it's called what? Hedonism. hedonism. What is it? There's a resort called. You don't know what hedonism is. Mm, I don't know what it oh means. Oh my goodness. And there's a resort uh, called uh, hedonism. Jersey, explain to what hedonism is. Get your oh, I was really gonna let you do that. Neither one of them it's, knows what it is. Let me tell you what hedonism is. This has been around for a while. Debauchery. So, so you imagine going to camp with adults, okay, mm-hmm. single adults. So day one would be sex education. <laughs> Day two would be how to use a condom, and day three, and I have all these things. That's a boring camp. <laughs> for you, it might be. Why would I want to go that. to camp for two days? I have to wait to how to use a condom. No, no, I'm, I'm for the whole summer. I'm gonna do this for the whole summer. No, but uh, and you have swimming, you have swimming in the pool, you have naked sex, you have you have what? steam rooms. They have all the things that you naked do. Naked sex? What are you talking that's about? That's <laughs> Yeah. Is that what, it is? what kind of sex do you have? Clothed sex? No. You naked better. sex? Okay. No, you have like real sex. You know, different ways. Freddy. Different ways. You haven't heard of this camp? It's no. a resort. It's a for real thing. I know I know that there are camps. There's one in Tampa. There's one here. Thank it has you. different yeah. names, but I didn't know that's what they were called. Yeah, yeah camp well, hedonism. It's a it's a for real thing, and people are freaky oh, deaky. It's in the it's in the islands. I yes. Think. Oh, uh, and people the are Caicos? Sw- Something like that. Certain and people are swinging and, you know. Yeah, and you it's it's for swingers. Me. It's for hedonism. Well, yeah, it's a group sex. I mean, it's, in other words, it's not a nudist camp, but you can do whatever you want. Have you been to these camps? Uh, no, because I know what I look like naked. I know that, but have you? Know most women oh, do so you think, think, I'm sorry, but do you think the people that go to this look great naked? No. There's uh, some people no, that they don't. Go. They never you, do. I, I guarantee you, you look phenomenal naked. I would not go. And would, I guarantee you would look good naked. Freddie and I, I can't put anything that Freddie No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to this, I, I but, but how do you know what goes on there if you've never been there? Well, they had a whole thing in the magazine. Well, they tell you what goes on, so you know what to expect. I about that uh, mm. many years ago. It's, I think it's in the great. It's it's in the islands. I think it's in the Caicos Islands, where it's called camp. They, it's called hedonism, and they have it at different places. Right. I mean, this has been going on for years and years. I mean, when I was in high school, they had it, um, and I think it was at the. Um, it was in Mexico. Yeah, right, 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 right. I mean, now they 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 have it a little bit nicer places, yeah. but it was honestly never at a really nice nice resort. They just made it look that way. Mm-hmm. I think summer camp is taking I a found cruise. one. It's in Jamaica. Oh, oh there's Jamaica, one in Jamaica. Right. There you go, Jamaica. And it's, it, you do whatever you want. I mean, you know. You, you, you do whatever you want. Yeah, I it's mean, just a swingers group. Naked. I mean, you know, it's not a nudist colony, but you do whatever you want if you're in the pool. It's called a nude summer camp for adults. Okay. There you, there you go. go Les. There so you watch go. where you sit, everybody, because there's puddles everywhere. Well, what is the age? <laughs> I would walk around. I would walk around with, and up. with Purell all day. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I would be totally Woody Allen about it. I'd be like, uh, I just saw where your chin just was, so could you just, you know, like, uh, towel off? <laughs> well, I just found a website that is yeah, called just want to hear about this. <laughs> Camp, CampNoCounselors.com, which is Escape to Happiness, Grown Ups Only. Go ahead. Keep going. And they just have fun. There's nobody naked that Not I Not that I don't want to know. Could you just, uh, could you text it to me after the show? Yes. Okay. Are you going to go to a camp for men, uh, for men? adults? No, I for camp, for men. <laughs> camp for men. I know. Mm-hmm. Camp for adults? That's called go? Key West. No. Yeah. Well, the, the camp Not that me. I've taken before, I take a cruise and just have fun and yeah. enjoy myself. And you find friends over there your same age. You just hang out with the people right. your same age and you just have fun. That's your camp right there, seven days, whatever. I went on a cruise and I didn't know at the time it was 75 to death. They have wheelchairs. <laughs> <laughs> they have wheelchairs. Three o'clock in the afternoon, and you know what time dinner? No, 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 no. You know what time dinner was? <laughs> dinner was at three o'clock. So I said to what my What time was death? Oh, what God. time was death? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the, the night. You know, the night show with the dancers. They had four ladies with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with
the old lady's doing the twist. Did anyone die while you were there? No, but I should have like, back. Uh, here's the thing. People disappear and you didn't know what happened to them. It's the only cruise that, you know, that you ever go on a cruise before you had that midnight special where you all the disorders. I've never been on a cruise. Oh, you have to go. You have to go. No, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be stuck on a boat. And no, I don't, the best cruise I don't know if I'd like it. New Jersey, you would love celebrity cruises because that's, yes, that's elegant. What I was on. That it's elegant. It's yes. the seventies fireman up. No, but celebrities <laughs> like, it's very, it's very um, high. It's a high end cruise. I went there to Alaska. Yeah. I just feel like I'd want to get off and explore the island more, and you've got to be, you've got to go through customs, and that takes like an hour no, and a half no, or two no, hours. No, no, then no, no, you've no, got, you've got you two hours on the island, then you got to go back, go through no, customs, no, get on no, back on the boat. Never. No, once you're on the ship, that's it. You never have to go through customs ever again. No, when you get off at the Bahamas, you have to go through customs no, to get no. go back on. No, no, then no. how come other other people I talked to said they did? Something's wrong with them. That's not that's not the case. They were carrying something well, it was my ex boyfriend, so maybe he was lying. <laughs> <laughs> lied about everything else. So. Really? I took I took uh, I took yeah, bottles right. they bottles they of wine and my luggage. I tried to hide. That's they caught it. Yeah, they always oh, do. Well, I'll tell you what I did. Someone told me I was in Jamaica. And when I, with my wife, on our honeymoon, oh. and we bring, at that time we were smoking, so this guy comes over to me and says, Man, come here. I said, Oh, God. <laughs> I show you, you got jewelry. You give me the hundred dollars, I show you, I, I take care of it. In the mic, but okay. Well, here's what I did. That's a Jamaican or yeah, a Jew? Jama- a Jamaican. <laughs> a Jamaican Jew? No. You're sounding like a Jewish man. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is a Jewish man. Okay, so what he did was he takes this cartons of cigarettes, takes the middle of the cigarettes out, and throws them away. Puts all the jewelry in. He says, "I'd be right back." Goes back and seals it up. Okay, so now when he said, "When you go to customs, tell me you're, you're, you're bringing in rum." Nice. I said, "Okay." So I would go to customs. So I said, "I have a bottle of rum and I have uh, I have uh, something for my wife." He Contraband. Says, oh. No, he said, "Okay, that's like you know, like six dollars." <laughs> I was sweating like a pig. <laughs> of course you, you can't were. get away with that now. I'm because... back at Midnight Express, going to a prison. <laughs> right. I right. Know. Midnight Express. Totally. I was sweating. The guy said, oh, very hot here. Oh, yeah, it's very hot. <laughs> now they have x-ray machines. I'll yeah, tell you what fr- happened to a friend of mine. He got, he, he, got, he took a, a Rolex watch from Jamaica, okay? And he didn't claim it. Going, he went back another time to get his wife one. They said, let me see that watch that he had on his hand. They made him pay for the duty. He said, no, I bought this. Let me see the certificate. Who carries the certificate? He says, that'll be $1,000. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah. They're, they're very strict if you, if you sneak stuff in. The, the only experience I had with the Bahamas is when we were coming back, you know, you take the little dinghy to the island and then you oh, take yeah, the yeah, dinghy yeah. back. Mm-hmm. So the guy who was driving the little dinghy, he must have been drunk. No, no. He slams oh, the little dinghy into this that into the stomach. ship. He slams <laughs> the thing. We all fall back. Don't say dinghy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I don't want anyone to make fun of my dinghy. I told you that once before, Daisy. Don't That's what it's it, called. Yeah. It's called a dinghy. It's called a dinghy. It sounds like weird. I didn't say dingaling. I said dinghy. Anyone that wants to ride my dinghy, let me tell you, I have one at home. Oh, Les. Oh my God. Oh, Lester. Oh, a dinghy is a little, a little boat. I'm I was kidding. Can you? You're as bad as he is. I knew I'd convert her. And he slammed the dinghy and the dinghy, dinghy, dinghy. Jersey girl. Wait, I wait for Jersey girl to. She's the dinghy. slowly breaking out of her shell. When Jersey girl gets started, guess what? This the is my therapy. Is going to be we'll, have to put, we'll have to put the finger on the button because... The oh, yeah, me and Jersey girl together? Okay. We're definitely going to get fined. <laughs> That's going to be Thursday. Did you, uh, did you go to, ever go on Dungeon River Falls when you are in Jamaica? That big, the, the falls? Did you ever do yes, that? Yes, yes. Oh, yes, it's beautiful. beautiful. I've never oh, been to Jamaica. What? You know what? We only had I love a, the Bahamas, We only got a few minutes. We wanted to talk about New Orleans. We can do it tomorrow. Are you going to be here tomorrow? Yes. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Let Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. Let's talk about it. It's, he's going. I'm going to New Orleans. Let's talk yeah, about New Orleans. Yeah, that's right. I didn't know you were going there. So what are you going there for? I'm going, what? She's going with you to no, New Orleans? Man. No, man, but she's been there, and she knows all She was telling me yesterday, you got to go here, you got to go there, you got to oh, go I've here. I've been to New Orleans five times. I'll just just give want. me a drink and some jazz, baby. I'm sitting He the needs corner. a hurricane drink, right? He needs to get the hurricane. Hurricane drink. Oh, yeah. He's got to go. What's the most famous place he's got to go to? He's got what? Cafe Dumont. Cafe Dumont for the beignets. 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 And what you gotta do is you pick up the beignet, you gotta blow the powdered sugar into, yes. into someone's face. That's the whole thing. Yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. Oh, nice. It is. What the hell is that? Beignets I, are donuts that are fried. Oh, donuts. yes, I know what they are. And they make okay. coffee, and they make the coffee with chicory in it. And let me tell you something. You can just sit there all day. I just want a drink. I want the oh, vodka, the hurricane. cranberry, and some jazz. I told it's all you. on the bucket list. Go I don't to, want anything complicated. Well, you know what the jazz. 
you will have a great go, go down to Jackson Square. Jackson Square. Go to Jackson Hopefully, Square. I don't get robbed because you I heard it's horrible. The though. French Market. You the go French to the French, French Market. market. The French right. Market. Cafe right. Dumont, you go to Captain Lafitte's. Hey, where do I go? Captain's whose feet? And, 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 and Paul's. Paul's feet, too? Place, right? Hey, listen. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. King Paul. Where do yeah. I go where they have the bees and the women showing the breasts? And, uh, that's that's during Mardi Gras. That's Mardi Gras. That's Mardi Gras. Ah, but they, they sell do that beads. all the time? Uh, listen, they, be, they sell beads everywhere. Now, I want to see the breasts, not the beads. Well, go go to a club. Go to Bourbon Street. No, yeah, go to Bourbon Street. She's fine. I, I've been there five times. I love the I, I love New Orleans. But let's talk about this tomorrow instead. Yes. I've seen cops in New Orleans and not not. Not too close. And whatever. Listen, it's just already yeah, built. They're gonna, look, they're not going to bother someone like you, and not going to bother someone like uh, Three and they're not going to bother someone like anyone here. They, they go after the guys. Three that they're going to bother somebody like me. Because there are guys that actually follow you. They know mm-hmm. And why tourists. won't they follow me? Well, why I'm a tourist. There's a lot of pickpocketing, well, so pick be careful. There. Put your oh, yeah, because the crowds are really big. Right? Put your wallet right. in, the, in your front pocket. I'm not taking my wallet. Then don't take anything, then. I'm going to put my, my debit card in my shoe, there and you go. I'm going to step on it. No, no, I did in New Orleans. I wore a money belt. Yeah, that works too. I do too, but I don't have no money to put in it. I didn't either. I just, just my because ID, of belt. My ID and my and just my ID and, and your my, sunglasses. My, my son, then I get a big boo. I, I get a big bulge. I don't want that. And a fanny pack. <laughs> I would that would just be, that would just add to your stomach. Okay, it's not gonna add to anything else. You remember fanny the days pack. when a fanny pack was cool? I know. You see a guy with a fanny, fanny packs were never yeah, they, they, were were never. they were in that one time. They were accepted in the, a little in bit better. In the 1900s. More. And, my, and my kids said that. In the 1900s. That, they, took, they, they cut my fanny pack off with a scissor. Oh, my daughter, remember, you're not wearing a fanny pack. Wear a backpack with coat over your uh, shoulder. Deh minute, deh What's wrong with a fanny pack? Anyways, we want to. It's not cool. It's not sexy. It's not cool. You put pampers in it. It is not. It's not cool. And if you said it. It's a senior citizen wallet. Well, there's a girl here that wears one. I love New York, though, you know, where the fanny pack is just we want to hear the stories from people all over Palm Beach County, Florida, New York. Not What's really. going on in summer? What are you going to do for summer, guys? Work. Like we do every summer. No, we have to do something. Well, we're going to have to have take to this up tomorrow. You had yes. to introduce this earlier in the show. No, it's that's what I want to leave this tomorrow. for tomorrow. Well, this is the cliffhanger? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm get, trying to work here. I have a special here. guest coming in tomorrow that you're all going to be mesmerized Who? by. Her name is Essie. Essie? Essie. Essie, 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 Essie? the cow? Essie the board cow. Oh, yeah, there is a cow named Essie. Elsie. Oh, that was Elsie. Oh, yes, true. Sorry. Sorry. Stop sorry. Stop I think Stop there's like one that. Essie, too. There's not an Essie. There's an Elsie. All right, listen, we got to go. Milk, what milk was it? What milk did Elsie do? That, Borden. See? All right, listen, we got to go. Lunchtime is over. Wrap up the wrappers. Get back to work, you lazy bums. And look, we at, will look at it raining tomorrow. outside. Yeah. Yeah. Drive yeah. carefully, yeah. everyone. Over. Stay off the roads. Remember what Daisy said. What'd she say? I didn't understand a word. Thunderstorms. 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 <laughs> thunder, thunder, thunder. Thunderstorms. All right, everybody say okay, goodbye. Go. Bye, guys. I have to leave now. Bye. about it for today's lunch break with two boys from brooklyn you're invited to join the break every day monday through friday at 12 noon so if you missed some of the good stuff they served up today there's more coming next time bring your lunch and the boys from brooklyn will bring the smiles and it's all live see you next time now go and enjoy the rest of your day